ganglion cysts of the wrist. Ganglion cysts are fluid-filled cysts. They are benign. They are not cancerous, and it will not spread. It may vary in size from time to time, and it may grow. It usually doesn't cause any harm, and the patient is usually more concerned about how the cyst looks. When these cysts pressure a nerve, an artery, or a tendon, it can cause a problem. Ganglion cyst of the wrist is usually classic and it trans illuminate, therefore, an MRI usually not needed. If the MRI is done for whatever reason, it will usually show a fluid signal inside the cyst. The ganglion cyst of the wrist can be dorsal ganglion cyst or volar ganglion cyst. The dorsal ganglia is common. The volar ganglia is rare. The volar ganglia can compress the radial artery and this might compromise the circulation of the hand. The dorsal type arises from the scapholeunate articulation. The volar type arises from the radiocarbal joint, which is the wrist joint itself. The ganglia looks like a bump or a mass. It's well defined, it's localized, it's smooth, and not attached to the skin. The dorsal ganglia is more obvious with flexion of the wrist. The volar ganglia is more obvious with extension of the wrist. This ganglion cyst of the wrist usually is asymptomatic and the patient is usually more concerned about the looks and the cosmesis. When you have a volar ganglia of the wrist, you need to check the nerves of the hand and you need to do the Allen's test to see if this cyst compromises the circulation. The ultrasound is a good study to see the relationship between the cyst and the radial artery in volar ganglion cyst. And as patient of the volar ganglion cyst, you may need an ultrasound because the ganglia sometimes is near the artery. Surgery is usually done for the ganglion cyst if there are severe symptoms or neurovascular compromise or if the patient complains of pain. There is a high recurrence rate with excision of the volar ganglion cyst, about 20%. You need to do the Allen's test to check the blood flow of the hand before you do excision of the volar ganglion cyst.